This is some good news, guys. Michigan woman gets sentenced to five years for filing false rape charge. It's about time. And the reasons why it's finally coming this way is because false allegations have real consequences. This is a case from the Daily Mail where a man was accused of being a rapist. It was false. And a bunch of men did vigilante justice. Now look at this. I'm no murderer. I'll get my justice one day, you whatever. Vigilante killer's furious rant at judge as he and seven others were jailed for life for brutal machete murder, a father they wrongly believed was a rapist. So this is how sick these guys are. Even when they found out he was innocent, they still believed they did a good thing. And they put a machete to this man. Now notice these men were all jailed for life. But the women who spark all this, th in this case, she only got five years. But she's not even connected to this case. The woman who started this um, rumor, this false rumor, she's not getting punished at all. So this is why I call it bum fights. You know how like people with money come by the bums and say, you know, what this fight with one another and I'll whoever wins gets this five dollar bill. That's what it is. These men who murdered this innocent man, they're bums. They're bums and they're they they want to harm other men and they're looking for any excuse. But notice when the men commit the crimes, they get some serious uh, sentencing, right? Now, eight men were today jailed for a minimum of 229 years after they kidnapped and murdered an innocent father who was wrongly thought had raped a teenage girl. All right. And they mentioned their names. And there's these losers, right? Mr. Huge, that was the victim, suffered over 90 sharp force injuries to his head, necks, bodies, and limbs, and most inflicted while he was alive following his abduction last year. There's, there's our heroes, man, and they think they're heroes. These psychos think they're heroes. And there's the poor man who did nothing wrong. This is straight out of, like, Silence of the Lambs. Right? There he is. There's the man who did nothing wrong. Some woman decided she, he didn't like his face. Uh, I, I don't know if it was the girl herself or the mother, but that, that woman is not getting named and she's not getting jailed. Right. And here's another thing. The men were all related to one another. So this is a sickness. This is a family sickness. I suspect, I can't prove it, but I suspect these guys are probably a lot of angry, low-status men who, who are, are resentful and because they can't attack those who they see as their betters, they look for other men, their equals, to destroy. Now, this is Inspector Heidi Cullen. Look how she misrepresents it. These men took the law into their own hands. No, they didn't take the law into their hands. This man was innocent. These are a bunch of murderers who, who look, were looking for an excuse to murder another man. That's what it is. So she, she isn't framing it properly. We only hope the verdict and sentences bring some justice and comfort to his family and friends. Well, are they putting the false accuser behind bars? No. So she can do this again and find a bunch of other losers. Men are real crabs in the buckets. Look at these losers. Hey, you losers, you guys are going to jail for life while the woman you enacted your rage over, she gets to walk around free with impunity. You male losers. These are male losers, everybody. Okay? This is something guys have talked about uh, continuously whenever we bring this up. 
The sentencing judge explained it would be a travesty of justice to sentence the false accuser to less than five years because of the potential sentences that those she falsely accused could have faced had they had been found guilty of rape. Technically, the woman was sentenced to two years for the false rape charge and another three for tampering with evidence. Well, you know something? This judge speaks uh, a big game, but this is not what these guys would suffer. Uh, their uh, ability to live in society would be destroyed for life, not a mere five years. They wouldn't just get sentenced for five years. They would be put on a sex offenders list and have no friends and no employment and they become homeless. So this judge is only talking a big game. But at least he's doing something. Okay? There's some justice out there. And what it is, it's gotten so bad that uh, society can't ignore it altogether and not come off as the hypocrites they are. Giving this woman a mere five years when stuff like this happens, you know, I mean, that's pretty weak sauce. Anyway, we'll end it here.